Welcome back to our two-minute tutorial series to help you get started with FabPilot. In this video, we will see how we can batch items to create a job. So to get started, we'll open the production module from the home screen. And we'll start by taking a look at the items that are waiting to be produced. Just click on items from the left menu. Now we can see the backlog of items that have been ordered. You can change to card view to have a thumbnail, or click on the eye symbol to get full details and comments for this part. So now we want to batch these items into jobs so that we can optimize each production run. Let's click on job list and click on create job. Now we specify the printer and the material. In this case, there's only one material associated with this printer and set the printing date. FabPilot's auto routing goes through the backlog and selects the items that match the printer and material and adds them to the job according to the production deadline. It will fill the job up to the stack volume for that specific machine. You can, of course, manually add or remove items from this job as well. Now we'll go ahead and pre-process these items. This is the chance for the production team to review each item prior to production. The first step is to review any notes that have been left for this part from the designer or client. Next is solidity check to ensure that the part is not too fragile, which might cause it to break during printing or post-processing. Now we can set the individual packing preferences. I can specify the distance between this part and others. I can set how this part is allowed to be manipulated within the nesting. And I can apply the interlocking check. If the orientation hasn't been set by the designer or client, the production technician can set it here using the automatic orientation algorithm. The final step is to review slicing to ensure that there are no defects. Once these checks are completed, this item is ready for production. And when all of my parts are pre-processed, I can go ahead and set this job to ready. Now it's ready to be nested and then printed. 